Vital S179 Fusion Splicer Maintenance. Make sure proper eye protection is worn during the following procedures. Tools needed. 250 micron or 900 micron coated fiber. Cotton swabs. 99% isopropyl alcohol. V-Groove cleaning brush. Soft nylon brush. Mild dish detergent, water, and electrode cleaning disc. Turn unit off by pressing and holding the power key for one second. Raise the windshield. Check the fiber clamps for smooth operation. Should be smooth, not notchy, should not stick. The ends of the fiber clamps need to be clean with no scratches or debris. Clean the fiber clamp ends and stems using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab. Remove the electrodes by unscrewing the electrode holder thumb screws. Remove the electrodes with the electrode holder. Clean the V-grooves using the following methods, depending on the severity of the cleanliness. Nylon V-groove cleaning brush. Strip, cleaned, and cleave fiber ran through the V-grooves from both directions at a 45 degree angle. Removing the V-groove from the splicer and scrubbing with soft nylon brush and mild dish detergent. After electrode holders have been removed, remove arc base by pressing the arc base towards the front of the splicer and lifting the arc base out of the splicer. Make sure you clean the inside edges of the V-grooves facing the electrodes. Clean both lens using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab. Make sure the V-groove is completely dry before installing it back into the fusion splicer. Remove the electrodes from the electrode holder. Ignore the center hole of the electrode cleaning disc. Pierce electrode cleaning disc with the electrode approximately one millimeter. Don't grasp the electrode knob if possible. Grasp a section of the electrode rod. Twist the electrode three to four times. Clean the electrode tip with isopropyl alcohol and a cotton swab. Insert the clean electrode or new electrode into the electrode holder. Push the electrode knob flush with the holding plate to ensure correct position. Install arc base, the left V groove, with the beveled edge orientated to the front and right of the machine. Push the beveled edge of the arc base against the locating pin depressing the spring loaded pin. The back of the arc base can now be pushed down against the main base. Releasing the arc base should reference the back edge of the arc base with the main base alignment edges. Attach the electrode holder in order from the front side to the back side. If you do not do that, the fiber position might slide. When loading the electrodes into the splicer, insert the electrode holder silver plate into the brass nut slot. Tighten the screws electrode holders. Do not over tighten the screws. Lower the windshield. Turn unit power on. From the ready screen, press additional arc key, the up arrow key, at least five times to burn off any residue. Perform arc check. Clean the heater clamps and heater element using isopropyl alcohol and cotton swab.